We are at Red Bull Hardline and this is G Atherton's prototype Atherton bike. So with this downhill bike, it is running a 27 in the back and a 29 in the front. G sits about, well, not about, exactly 185 centimeters tall. With the nature of it being a prototype, we don't have our typical sizing and details are thin on the ground, such as shock kinematics and reach. So we're gonna have to wait in due course to find out what exact size G rides. In terms of material, this bike is really cool. It's carbon tubed and it's got these 3D printed titanium lugs. What this means is it's got a huge amount of adjustability. You can change the length of your tubes and then with the additive manufacturing, you can change the shape and size of the lugs. So a truly custom bike and I'll be really interested to see what they bring to production. So for the wheels, G is running some ZTR flows by stands and paired to their Neo hubs. Like I said, 27 in the back, 29 in the front and interestingly, no inserts. Not even with all this course is demanding, have they gone to a tire insert, which I think is pretty cool. The Athertons for many years have been Fox athletes, so it's no surprise to see G running the grip 2 damper in his Fox 49er fork. They've got the Coil X2 on the back with a 525 pound spring. They're being quite tight lipped in terms of what the kinematics of the bike are. So yet again, we're going to have to find out in due course. In terms of stopping, the Athertons are running the beautiful Trick Stuff Maximas, which are incredibly high-end brakes, but they're also incredibly high power. That is paired to some 203 Trick Stuff rotors front and back. They've also got the Goodridge braided hose. Because the brakes are so powerful, they do suffer from more hose expansion, so you really do need a really strict grip on that hose to stop it expanding under heat and pressure. G is running a 780mm rental fat bar. He's also got 15mm stem spacers under his 50mm rental stem. So quite a kind of high front end, but I guess with the steepness of the track, that's hardly surprising. But coupled with the 49er, it's, it's quite a rise on it. He's running the rental grips. I don't know what maybe the brand naming is. I'm pretty sure they'd be considered somewhere along the super soft lines. They're very soft indeed. And he's got not that much throw on his brake levers. The bite point bites, I'd say, parallel to the bar, and they're reasonably flat. They're not completely parallel to the ground, but at the same time, they're not slammed down. Pretty moderate, I'd say. G is running one of the WTB saddles, which has got a really nice custom Atherton wrap. He's running an FSA K-Force seat post, which is an incredibly light. I've got a feeling K-Force is even their road range, so really high end. And to finish off his cockpit and contact points, G Atherton is running some quite well used, but in pretty good nick, Crank Brother downhill pedals. He's got the mallets and the pins are dialed a bit more in than you'd expect to find from a box fresh set. For his number board, he is running the number one plate as last year's winner. They haven't done anything too fancy, no extravagant plates or anything like that. Just good old fashioned cable ties to keep it secured really tight to the forks there. This bike is running a SRAM drivetrain, but with the FSA gradient cranks that are alloy. So this is a seven speed downhill specific drivetrain and that is paired to an FSA 36 tooth chainring on the front. He's running a full complement of an MRP chain device, both top and bottom. There are flashes and splashes of rubber mastic tape, but nothing too elaborate. Nothing, uh, none of those bumpy chain stays you see more and more commonly. So you can only presume it runs pretty quietly from stock. And that is how you spec a bike to ride the toughest downhill course in the world. G being local to here, you have to imagine he has a pretty good idea how to do it. Now, if you want to keep with the channel, you can click here to check out Nina Scherter's amazing cross-country bike. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.